In the first reading today, Jeremiah had a message from the Lord. And Jeremiah was rejected by the people of Israel. They did not believe in him. Also in the gospel today, Jesus did some miracles, some healing. But he was rejected by the scribes and the Pharisees. They did not believe in him. They even accused him of working with the power of Belzebul, the prince of demons. They were rejected. Jeremiah was rejected. Jesus was rejected. They did not believe in him. And in the first reading today, we hear a concrete manifestation of belief. Sino ba talaga yung tunay na naniniwala sa Panginoon? This is what I commanded my people. According to Jeremiah, the message of the Lord. Listen to my voice. Then I will be your God, and you shall be my people. This is one concrete phase of belief, listening to God. Opening our hearts to the Lord, opening our minds to the Lord, listening to His word, and listening to His actions. Listening to Jesus, listening to the gospel, listening to to the power, accepting the power and examples of the Lord. That is why we hear in the gospel today, uh, sorry, we hear in the Psalms today, if today you hear His voice, harden not your hearts. If today you hear the voice of the Lord, harden not your hearts. Simply put, Listen. Listen. And you know, I think listening is like love. Just as we say that we cannot separate love, our love for God is one with our love for neighbor. They are always together. We cannot say we love God without loving neighbor. And loving neighbor becomes true because it comes from our love of God. Palagay ko, ganun din yung pakikinig. We cannot say that we listen to God when we do not listen to people around us. Because more often than not, God sends messengers through people around us. Hindi naman ho tayo siguro katulad ni Mother Paustina na narinig mismo yung tinig ng Diyos, nagpakita. No? More often than not, listening to God means listening to people sent to us by God. And that is what listening is. We cannot say that we listen to God when we do not listen to people around us. And my dear friends, that is one important renewal that we can focus on during this Lent. How is our listening? How open are our ears? How open are our hearts? It's not easy to listen. It's easy to, to say our peace, to say our minds. It's easy. But it's not easy to listen. But very clear in the readings today that listening is one great manifestation of faith. If today you hear his voice, 
harden not your heart. Amen.